let's first have a look at how dynamic input works on the screen before we start looking at the settings. So I've got dynamic input on at the moment down here on the status bar. So if I click dynamic on, dynamic off. Now dynamic input is extremely useful and I never ever turn it off now. I use it constantly. If I go and select this line here, I get those grips like that. If I hover on that grip though, it tells me the length of that line. As you can see, it's 2.1213. If I hover over the mid snap there, nothing happens. However, if I go there, again, I get the same, but notice I've got the option of stretching or lengthening that line. So if I click on stretch, I can now stretch that shape. Can you see that? Look, I'm stretching it out and I can go anywhere I want. If I click there like that, I've stretched that end of that line using that grip all because of the dynamic input. I'll just go back up here to the quick access toolbar and undo what I've just done. So I click there, hover over that grip, and I get a menu come up automatically, and I know the length of that line automatically. That's very, very useful to me because it tells me how long that line is in the drawing. I might need to shorten it or lengthen it, and I can also stretch and move that point around in the drawing. I might snap it to something else. So that's dynamic input on the screen. Now, other things that happen on the screen with dynamic input, let's just hit escape there to deselect that line, first of all. If I want to draw a line, I go up to the line command here, and if I hover there, dynamic input tells me that that's an endpoint snap. So I can click, and I can drag down here, hover over here, because object snaps are on, again, dynamic input tells me that's an endpoint, but look, 90 degrees, 2.1213 it gives me the distance and the angle as well so i'll just click there and that's drawn my line i'll press enter to finish now let's switch dynamic off and go to draw a line i can still right click and repeat line but i've got nothing now telling me what's going on i get a snap tells me it's an endpoint snap but that's it there's no distance nothing if i come out here my polar tracking goes to there, it tells me it's a midpoint snap, that's it. And I click there, enter to finish. So you can see how useful that dynamic input is. It gives me an angle, gives me a distance, it allows me to manipulate my object as I'm drawing it using the dynamic input. So the trick there is to make sure that dynamic is always on. So DYN is always on when you're drafting and drawing on the screen. What we'll do now is we'll start looking at the settings for dynamic input.